What is good everyone, DB Zoom back at you with a brand new video and for today's video guys, we have a lot to unpack here. So make sure you guys go to your room, come back and put your tinfoil hats on. Go to the comment section down below and give me your craziest theories of what we will be getting for Dragon Ball Legends in this update. So uh, let's just dissect everything from A to Z. We're possibly getting a new legendary finish unit. There's possibly a new Zankai. We're possibly going to get a huge story overhaul, especially for Shalit, maybe a tra uh, transforming a uh, new transformation for Shalit, maybe a new Zankai for Shalit. I don't know, maybe a new playable character such as Zaha or Giblet uh, coming to Dragon Ball Legends. So we have a lot to dissect here, guys. We're going to start from the top, which is this new section here. So... They posted this last night, these videos and stuff. I'm gonna break this down and explain to you why this videos and stuff is actually different from the last that got us very disappointed. So uh, right here, it pretty much says, uh, episode nine of official Legends videos series, videos and stuff will be released on 11, 17, 2020, 5 p.m. Pacific time this Tuesday. So do not miss out on that. This time, we'll be bringing you uh, more exclusive behind the scenes development stories, as well as info on the update plan for mid-November, which is the next update. We're pretty much mid-November. Today's November, what, 13th? So we're pretty much in mid-November. We can expect a huge update coming out uh, this upcoming uh, weekly reset. So expect some major, major info, and I'll tell you guys exactly how to prepare for that as well. So uh, they go on to also say plus dot, 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 we also have some big news reserved for the end of the broadcast. So, and it says do not miss out, obviously. So that right there, guys, it, it got the community a little bit upset because last time they uh, they announced this, they announced it a little bit different. And let me explain to you what I mean by that. So last time they announced this videos and stuff, and they said, plus we will be uh, revealing a non our never before seen character in Dragon Ball Legends, which got our hopes really high up and it turned out to be Champa and Vados, which then brought our hopes down. So uh, this time, uh, a lot of people are a little bit upset as to what we're gonna be getting because we don't want another huge uh, hype and then a letdown. Let me explain to you why this is different. Before they just, re they, they pretty much just said that we will be getting a character that's never been released before in Dragon Ball Legends. Doesn't mean it has to be a hype unit. Chomp and Vado is not a hype unit. It's just a never before released. Yajirobe is a never before released character in, Dra in Dragon Ball Legends. Not to say that they're going to come out and, and release that, but I'm just saying that's what they mean by that. A never before released character in Dragon Ball Legends doesn't necessarily mean a hype unit, which led us to a letdown. As opposed to this, which this they're saying, we also have some big news reserved for the end of the broadcast. Don't miss out. Some big news. Big news is not Chomper Vados. We're not going to get a Chomper Vados like character as for big news. No, this Tuesday, guys, this Tuesday, I was trying to do the math in my head. This Tuesday is going to mark exactly one week away from Black Friday. So they could announce the Black Friday unit in the end of this broadcast, guys. So I, um, I've made plenty of videos in the past as what as of uh, what we can possibly be getting for Dragon Ball Legends for Black Friday. I'm going to give you guys a very quick recap. So basically, there's only so much hype units left in Dragon Ball Legends, right? Uh, before they like, we already got Super Saiyan Blue uh, Vegito. That's a hype unit, for example. Uh, the only couple of uh, hype units left is Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. We have UI Goku. We have Jiren. We also have uh, Merge Corrupt Samasu and Hoposaur Trunks. And if you want to toss an LF Broly in the mix, you can, I guess. But yeah, that's pretty much all the hype units that we have left um, in the game. So I don't see them bringing out anything else besides the units I just named out to you guys. Now, um, if I had to break down who I think should be coming in this videos and stuff, if they indeed release a Dragon Ball Legends uh, Black Friday character, LF character, um, I would either I would either break it down either between UI Goku slash Jiren uh, because they have been releasing a lot of Tournament of Powers, Rival from the Universe Sagas, and stuff like that, or possibly a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, because GT has been lacking heavily uh, as of late, so I think it might be one of those. It could be Corrupt Samasu, Mercer Samasu, and Hopasaur Trunks. The only reason why I'm kind of backing off, off of that is just because we just got a uh, Rage Trunks, the yellow one that we currently have, alongside the... Uh, the transforming or the transformed uh, Zamasu 
uh, or the, the combined Zamasu that we got for the second anniversary. So I don't think they're going to bring out another Zamasu, another Trunks uh, so close to each other. That's just my personal take. It could happen though. So um, I'm not taking that out of the equation at all. So make sure you guys go comment in the comment section below who you think we will be getting. But I do believe we will be getting a Black Friday preview here because this is exactly one week away from Black Friday, guys. Now, next up to the other uh, new section here. This threw a lot of people off by surprise, especially me. Um, so when they announced this, they pretty much just said here that they're going to be taking away some stories away from... Um, from story mode that we will never be able to get ever again in Dragon Ball Legends. So uh, this just threw me off big time and it got me thinking it has to be for a good reason, guys. You're not just going to take away story for no good reason at all. Now, they said here the next update will uh, will include some changes to part one to three of the, ma uh, of the main story of the game. Uh, the changes will make it easier to proceed through the main story even for those who just started playing the game. Some stages will be removed in the update, which is these stages here, guys. It's not that many stages, but if you calculate all the crystals and you lose them, it's definitely a lot of crystals. So make sure, I think it's like a thousand plus crystals if you guys haven't done this yet for some reason. Um, I think I'm missing a little bit of hard mode story. So I think if they're gonna take out normal mode, they're gonna also take off hard mode off of these. So um, make sure you guys do these, uh, possibly before the next reset, which is this Tuesday. Uh, or Wednesday, I'm sorry, uh, Tuesday night for me because I'm Pacific time. Uh, but yeah, so make sure you guys do your stories. Now, let's discuss why they're doing this. So they mentioned that um, that they're going to make it easier for people to pr uh, proceed through the main story. Now, what makes it difficult to proceed through the main story is all those little greedy, greedy, uh, like, crystals you have to get. Like, use two blue characters, use two green characters, uh, land a special arts card, land a blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. So those little uh, crystals, uh, like it makes it really like grindy to go through the story and having to do all that. I think they're gonna reset everything to the fact where may, I'm not saying I I'm, I'm I'm saying this could be a possibility. I'm not saying I'm not confirming anything, but it could be that they're gonna reset this as to where the the like the missions on the side is just one thing, like use one green character and then get 21 crystals, or use one red character and then get this, or use one android character, use one regen, or one saiyan, one god key, one future character, you know, and then as opposed to all those little greedy missions, and they might reset it so we can get more crystals off of this, so, or it can also mean something to do with shallot, and it can also mean something to do with, uh, they're probably going to replace these missions with something else, maybe we're not going to, we're not going to get Zaha, so now we can probably use Zaha or Giblet in one of these missions or something like that. I don't know, but there's only so much they can do. And I pretty much just named out all the possibilities um, of what they could do. Because I really don't think they could do much here. But it's for a good cause, guys. It's for a good reason. We will end up liking it. It's not a bad thing. Just make sure you guys do them. And then you guys will be good. It's these missions here. If you guys want to take a screenshot or just go to your game news and check it out. But yeah, guys, I uh, want you guys to go comment down in the comment section below what you guys think. I also think that uh, they might be doing something with Shally because in the last episode uh, of videos and stuff, they announced that Shallot's screen has his own special screen now. So maybe now he'll be able to learn green cards, uh, more blue cards, ultimates or something like that. Maybe uh, Zaha will be in the mix or something like that. Something big is coming something big is coming guys so i want you guys to be ready and um i've been preparing you guys with my videos of how to uh, farm and save chrono crystals so hopefully those videos helped you out hopefully you guys got some more clarity on this video here so uh yeah i'm really excited i'm definitely not gonna miss out on this and i'll definitely cover the whole thing so if you haven't subscribed subscribe already uh subscribe because i'm gonna pretty much just cover the whole thing uh from a to z and if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and I'll definitely catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.